Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to share our process that I used to care for Shell Cordovan. This is a follow-up video to one that I made about a week ago where I went through how I clean Shell Cordovan boots as well as how to clean a pair of calfskin dress shoes. In that video, we used the cleaner and conditioner for the calfskin and a neutral cream polish for the Shell Cordovan. So today we are going to buff that off of the Shell Cordovan boots and then we are going to condition them and add a layer of paste to uh, protect the toe and the heel. The condition of the boots right now is right as we left them in the last video. We're gonna have to start by buffing off this dried neutral cream and then we'll go ahead and apply the conditioner. And I'll talk through each of those steps as we get there. As a reminder, the reason that I went ahead and used the neutral cream for the Shell Cordovan is really pretty simple. I just wanted to show an alternative, something that's a little gentler than the cleaner conditioner as a cleaning agent. They both work equally as well. Just wanted to be able to show two different options in case you're either limited in what you have or in case you want to go for a less abrasive or just a gentler option when cleaning a pair of boots. A side note, I did want to mention if you are enjoying this video as well as past videos and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Turn on your notifications, like this video even, and leave a comment, share some feedback, any thoughts. I think that's one of the main reasons why I do this, is I like to kind of interact and engage with folks that I wouldn't otherwise. So go ahead and do that. It's definitely something that benefits me. There's no doubt about that. But I think it benefits all of us, because if I'm able to kind of grow and reach a wider audience, that'll increase the opportunity and the likelihood that I'll be able to get some additional folks to join the channel or participate in a video with either a product for review or for a podcast style chat. I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and subscribed. It doesn't cost anything and you can always unsubscribe in the future if you change your mind about whether you like it or not. Back to the video. So for the conditioner, we are using the cleaner conditioner from Pure Polish Products. The biggest thing here is you want to use a very minimal, even application across the entire boot. As you are applying this, I use my fingertip because I find that that is the easiest way to feel the product getting absorbed into the leather. This needs at minimum, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes to dry. But again, as I mentioned before, make sure that you're kind of going off of your touch and feel, not necessarily just watching like a timer or a clock to decide when it's ready to move to the next step. Now that the boots are dry, we're ready to buff off the conditioner and then we'll apply the dark brown paste. So I have a horsehair brush and a pig bristle brush. Either order of using them is fine and either one or the other is fine. So whether you have both or just one, it's not a big deal. They'll both get the job done. Now that we have that buffed off, I'm going to apply the paste to the toe and the heel. Just like in the other videos that you would have watched for the calfskin, I'm just going to use my finger to kind of heat up and soften up this top layer of paste. I like to apply just a small even layer on the toe and the heel really for added protection against scuffs and scrapes. Is that something I really tend to do? I tried to get a close up view of me like buffing this paste off of the toe and the heel because I think it's really interesting, but also kind of beneficial to see how easily this stuff shines up and that you don't need to overdo it with the amount of force or pressure that you're applying when brushing or even when just applying the paste. And we're done. So I think this is the final product. Let me know what you think. I think it turned out pretty well. I think you can really see a strong contrast when we look at this clip from the initial video when we were cleaning that off. You can really see how it was kind of spotty, dry, and just uneven along the vamp or around the outside pinky toe. And now the finished product, the finished boot, looks much more hydrated. It looks much more supple, and it feels much more supple. So I think that's proof in itself that the care routine that we just went through is not just for looks, but it does provide a benefit and it's really simple, quick, and easy to do. On that note, this is a very basic routine. This is not meant to be the end all be all of shell care. This is really just super simple. If you want to clean it, you want to condition it, and then you want to protect it, this is how you would do it. We'll definitely have some other videos coming up specifically how to smooth out rolls or creases, how to kind of fix scuffs or scrapes with the deer bone, a spoon or the ebony stick like I have, and anything else that you guys wanna see, we can definitely come up with a way to demonstrate how to do it. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that we went over in this video. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Another reminder, subscribe, like, 
and comment. Look forward to getting back to you, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.